Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So as I posted earlier this week, Microsoft rolled out the latest Patch Tuesday security updates for both Windows 10 and Windows 11. And for Windows 11, the update was KB5041585. And for Windows 10, the update was KB5041580. And I'll leave both those videos linked down below and in the end screen if you'd like some more information. Now, just to let you know in regards to the Patch Tuesday security updates, that Microsoft has confirmed that both these updates actually have fixed a critical vulnerability in the TCP RP protocol that could allow remote attackers to execute code on all Windows systems using RPv6. Now, basically, the vulnerability, they say, has been identified as CVE 20243863 and is a little bit concerning because, I don't know if you know, but RPV, RPv6 is enabled by default on most Windows installations. Now, before we go a little bit further into the actual vulnerability, uh, just a quick kind of overview as to what we are actually talking about here when we are referring to RPv6. Now, if we just head into our network sharing and we hit to adapter and we just double click on that and we hit to properties. This is what I'm talking about. Okay. So, yeah, we have two different protocols. We've got RPv4 and you've got RPv6. Now, just a quick recap regarding this is that RP, RPv4 is basically the older version or the first version of the internet protocol uh, that was widely used. And basically it just stands for Internet Protocol Version 4, in case you're unaware, and made its debut in 1983. Okay, And then if we just scroll here to RPv6, which is Internet Protocol Version 6, obviously, that's a newer version, which first rolled out in 1999. And... Basically, uh, it is a newer version of the Internet Protocol with longer addresses that contain both numbers and letters. So that's basically the difference between the two in case you were unaware. So moving on, okay. So Microsoft says that basically um, this is a critical patch and the bad guys could exploit this to trigger buffer overflows, which could lead into arbitrary code execution. So this is quite an important vulnerability that's been patched. Now, not too much is actually known about this issue because obviously um, they don't want to disclose too many details for now. Um, obviously, because then the malicious actors can take advantage of what's been made known about this vulnerability and exploit it further. So that's obviously understandable. And Microsoft has classified the vulnerability as exploitation more likely, quote unquote which could mean a high probability of threat actors developing exploit code. And at this stage, uh, it's not clear if this has been exploited in the wild as of now and currently and how widespread it is. But if it's a critical vulnerability, there is a good chance that that could be the case. So all you need to make sure of, if you are running Windows 10 and Windows 11, um, if you are concerned about this, is just make sure you have the latest August 2024 Patch Tuesday security updates downloaded and installed for both Windows 10 and Windows 11. And for most users, that would have already taken place by now because these updates will be downloaded and installed automatically on both Windows 10 and Windows 11. Unless um, you've fiddled around in settings and services or you have paused the updates uh, through Windows Update. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.